Hey y'all, welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are an oldie but a goodie. As you can see today, we are stopping at Sam's Club to grab a few staples for the house for vacation and as well as to tide us over for the remainder of spring break. So let's get into Sam's Club and see what they got for us today. Like what kind of food? Now that's what I'm saying. That's what we're getting, but I'm just saying. Is there anything else? By the way, if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let the girl, let your girl know that it is real. Also, feel free to go ahead and hit that like button to show some love. And comment down below, what is your favorite thing to get from Sam's Club? Oh, it's chest still here. It's chest still here. Huh? And a good while. What's that mean? Keep going. Yes. You said you make sure that's ready? There are your things down there. That's what you that's what you had last time. You need to get those. Did we? You sure? No, the last ones I bought was member marks. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge. They look just like them. No, it was them. Oh. It was them. They want clear. Mm -hmm. I need a spicy chicken sandwich. Mm hmm. Um, you gotta grab from the middle. Yeah, yeah. 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 He needs that 40 count price from food for last or something. Um, are we doing another catch up? Are you gonna get it when you come back? Okay. Yeah, that's true. Four, I don't see. Four, what the oil is? What kind of oil is that? You see me like what kind of oil is that? We do need some. Huh? What? What wings? Are oh, your wings? Did they go down? They went down or went up? Oh, we need garlic toast.
I want to try. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know what you just said. I Hmm. So apparently I went to Sam's Club strictly for chicken because that's basically what I picked up. No, in all seriousness, I went to Sam's Club so that I can get some of the staples that we like to have um, that's quick, simple. I don't have to do any fussing or asking people what they want, blah, blah, blah. I can just throw something together quick side to go with it and we're done so i got the three pound bag of the spicy chicken breast fillets uh some people say that they're similar to um uh, what's the place chick-fil-a spicy chicken sandwich um i kind of agree um i do like these though these are a staple for me quick and simple um usually in my air fryer or either in the oven or something to that nature um i got the buffalo style boneless chicken bites what is this? Three and a half pounds. I got this. Hubby enjoyed these the last time I bought them. I remember I bought them just to try them in the last video. I did not enjoy these. I don't know what it is about them, but I didn't enjoy them, but he did. So that's definitely something he can have after work. So he don't have to complain about being hungry. Um, we also got the Tyson Buffalo Hot Wings. This is a... How many pounds is this? I don't know. Four pound bag of the Tyson Boneless Hot Wing or Buffalo Hot Wing. I believe that the bone is in. So uh, these are frozen. I believe they go in the oven or something. Um, I got the 10 pound bag of chicken wings. Uh, these are the sections. So the flats and the drumettes. Um, I got these because like I said, these are a staple for us. Quick and simple. Uh, I think we last time we got about maybe two and a half meals out of the chicken wings, two to three meals. And um, we are a family of four. However, Elijah, isn't eating as much as we are, but nevertheless, he is eating. He does love chicken, so um, the 10 pound bag. And to be honest, if I can insert the prices of each thing when I'm editing, I definitely will. I think that'll be helpful for you guys to so you can see if it's something that you want. You can kind of see and kind of um, see what it is in your store. Um, this is based off of here in Illinois. Um, got those. This is new to us. 
It is the Country Pride Chicken Breast Tenders Fritter Style. Um, I got these to try for Andreas because, um, again, he likes basic things, something that um, can be quick and simple uh, for afternoon lunch or even after school or even for his dinner because, like I said, he has a very selective palate, so it's very few things that he eats. But this can be something, hopefully, this is something that he will enjoy and we can have this. This is a five pound bag. I do believe that this was $16.99. I will double check the um, receipt and then I'll let you know. But my mother usually get these fritter chicken tenders uh, from this other store. Um, it's not like a box store or anything like that. It's just like uh, some type of like random store that she goes to and they have them. They're much more than $16.99, however. I think for a bag, I think she'd be paying like maybe $23 or $24 for it. So if these are anything like that, then we are gonna be winning because I'm gonna go back and get some more of these and he'll have these and I can also stock her up with some as well. Never again will I allow us to run out of these. Never, ever, ever again. When I tell you that I had the worst night of my life last night, and Dre had the worst night of his life last night, this is a staple for us. This is the five milligrams. It doesn't leave you tired. It does not make you groggy or sleepy, but this is definitely a staple. So, we will not be running out of these anymore. Mickey! Hey. Mickey! My basket. Mickey! Hey, Mickey! So, since today, uh, it's Tuesday, and I just came back from the store picking up a few things. Today is Fend For Yourself Day, so that means I'm not cooking anything that requires me standing over the stove. So, I made the baby some noodles. Um, he has, though, he likes noodles a lot. I don't always give him the sauce that's in there. Sometimes I may just put like a little butter sauce on there, or sometimes I may put a little spaghetti sauce because he loves spaghetti. So that's a different texture of noodle with the um, spaghetti sauce, but um, he'll take that. Andreas, like I said, I'm gonna try those fritters for him. And then I'm gonna boil him some rice really quickly and put him a piece of garlic bread on. He's gonna be set. Hubby may or may not eat those Tyson buffalo wings. Um, I don't know if I want some. I may I may go ahead and eat some of those so I can so we could just be done. I'm not cooking no sides with it. I'm not cooking no fries. I'm not doing none of that. So don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. He don't have to ask. I'm not in the mood. Um, I do need to go take my blood pressure. Y'all, my hats. I took my ponytail down because my head started hurting. So I threw my hat back on. But um, I do need to take my blood pressure because my head is getting hot. That's why I have to take the rubber band out. So I know for a fact that my blood pressure probably is spiking. So I probably don't need the hot wings, but I don't really have anything else that would make me be okay for the night. So I may try and eat just a few, maybe about four and call it a night, get some fresh water in my system. Um, like I said, I know for a fact, I need to call into the doctor and see if uh, I can get the nurse to do a um, blood pressure check, just in case I do need to go back on my medication. I was on blood pressure medicine once before. Um, I really don't want to go back on it, but I know that I can't really play around with my health. So if I have to go on it temporarily until I get myself together, that's just what I'll do. Um, what else? Um, I want to start getting myself together uh, health-wise, but I mean, we got, what, a few days before we really go out of town? So I ain't gonna lie, there's no point. So basically here, before the video actually cut off, what I was saying was is that basically there's only a few days before we go out of town. So there's really no real point in me trying to switch things up a bit or whatever. I might as well wait until we get back and start fresh um, and brand new. But I do still need to get into the doctor to get the blood pressure checked so that I can determine if I need to go back on my medication or not. Um, I won't um, lie, I'll probably be a little sad, but whatever is going to work better for me, that's what's best. As you can see, Elijah is saying hi in the background, um, but that's basically what I was saying. Unfortunately, like I said, I've been having issues with my uh, phone, so um, I wasn't able to complete the video. So.